What's up, coders? Welcome to episode six of our spreadsheet service playlist on the Google Apps Script course. In this video, we're going to be talking about copying data. So the method to do it is called copy to. And this method is very versatile, actually. A lot of classes have their own distinct method called copy to. So whether you're dealing with bandings or whether you're dealing with sheets, or whether you're dealing with ranges, they all have their own method of copy to. So we'll take a look at some of the use cases of this method in the code. So like I said, this method seems to be ubiquitous across many of the classes that Spreadsheet app utilizes. So I could spend a long time and, and detail out every single use case. I'm not going to do that because I'm trying to keep this video short. But let's quickly go through some of the use cases again. So one way to do it is copy copying bandings or copying format. So let's say we have this sheet called baby metrics and it has this data in it right here. And we look back at our Detroit sheet and we're like, you know what, I really like these alternating colors. I think it looks great and it would look absolutely fabulous on the baby metric sheet. So what you wanna do is you get a your you get your sheet which is Detroit and you access a method called get bandings which we haven't covered yet but that's basically uh, all the alternating colors and then as you could see it returns an array of bandings so we're just gonna take the first banding it's okay there's only one theme anyways so there's only one in here so we're taking that and then we're going to say copy to there it is right there our range is going to be something that we haven't declared yet. So let's declare it right now. So range equals sheet bm dot get range. And this is a good use case of our max row and max column. So let's start at row one, column one. The number of rows, so we want to copy this the this format to all of the rows and columns in our sheet. So we don't just want just like a little subset of it. We want the entire sheet to be colored. So this is another good use case of max row and max column. Um, so it should be all good to go right now. So let's save it. Let's run it. And as you can see, here we go. So all of the all of the cells now have their banding and have their alternating colors. So that's pretty cool. So let's let's comment this out for now. You don't need to do that every single time. Another another use case of copy too is when you're trying to copy a sheet to a to an existing spreadsheet. So let's just say let's try let's try to copy sheet baby metrics. So we have sheet baby metrics, and we'll access the method copy to, and we want to copy it to let's just say the existing spreadsheet that we're working in right now. So again, that's this one and it already pre-populated spreadsheets that's good we'll save it and then we'll run it so no errors so that's so what this did is it made an entirely new sheet it just copied everything that was in baby metrics and then made an entirely new sheet within this spreadsheet and everything is the same formatting values everything so that is also pretty cool but i don't honestly use either of these very often, really the use case that is that is most prevalent is when I copy to from ranges. So let's make some ranges right now. I'll illustrate what that is. So let's say range to copy is equal to, let's try and take this cell right here and we're gonna copy it all the way down. So basically copy to when it involves ranges is basically typing command C or control C and then command V or control V. So it's basically copying and pasting. So again, as you can see, it takes uh, the formula with it, the, the value as well. In fact, I'm going to just give this a little bit of formatting just to make it a little bit more uh, obvious what it's doing. So range to copy again is going to be our sheet, bm dot get range row two column two and 
range to paste now is going to be our sheet bm dot get range. We want this one. Row not two, three this time. Column two, number of rows is going to be our last row minus two. We're going to subtract two from it because we have our we already have these two cells. We have these two rows uh, which have data in them. So we're going to take 29 and then just minus two and that will give us our 27 rows. Number of columns is still going to be one, so that's good. So now what we want is we want range to copy, which is of the class range. And then we are going to use the method copy to. So as you can see, there's some optional arguments here. Let's just use this one first, the easy, easy way to do it. And then we'll get into the optional arguments after that. So our destination is going to be a range and it's going to be range to paste. So we'll save it, we'll run it. No errors, that's good. And, oops, I was a little scared there for a second. Oh, was I in here the whole time? Oh, geez, okay, well, you didn't get to see the formatting this time, but uh, it did work. We did get all of the cells to populate. And, you know, what? I'm just going to rerun that just because I wanna see it. So I'm gonna delete all that. All right, let's run this again. Sorry about that. All right, so here it is. So again, all of our cells now are orange and it copied the the formula across all of these and it, it just and it copied it. So it copied it, but then it also it changes, you know, just just how it would work if you did command C and can command V. So that's pretty cool. But what let's say you want to not take all of the values and the formatting and everything along with it, then what you can do is you can start at, are adding optional parameters. So let's do this again. Let's say copy two, and let's select this one. So you can add the optional parameters through a JSON object. I don't think it's necessary. Um, you can just you can do it this way. I I would prefer to do it this way. So our destination is again range to paste. And then this copy paste type is actually an enum. So again, all enums are accessed directly from the parent class of spreadsheet app. Let's get our copy paste type. And then when we hit dot, you get to see all of the ways that you can paste. So there are simple things like paste normal, but then you also have things like paste values. You have paste formula, paste format. You can experiment with all of these. I'm not gonna go through all of them. I'm just gonna say paste values just to make a point right now. So transposed. We don't really want to transpose our data, so we'll just say false. Save it, run it, and then voila, there it is. So again, we just said paste values only. So it didn't take the formula, it didn't take the orange background, it just took that two and it copied it all along here. So let me just show you, just because you know I'd feel like incomplete if I didn't. So the JSON way to do it as well is you just make an object and then there's two keys that you can use. You can use contents only or you can use format only and then set that to true. Let's run it. No errors, that's good. And it just basically does the same thing. But I think the other way is a little bit more app scripty. So that's how I how I do it. I just give it the enum. So I hope you guys liked that and learned a lot. That was a lot of material, but Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.